Hey friendly, it's Sunday. That means I have another travel video for you. Today I'm going to take you with me as I explore some forest roads looking for camping as I leave Telluride. Amazing, amazing, amazing gorgeous views. So just wait. One of the roads is a little bit of a nail brighter. It might look a little scary or it might have been a little scarier I think than it looked, but I end up finding some camping and some kind of surprising places. So stay tuned with me as we explore the forest roads of Colorado. And please be sure to watch my video all the way through till the very end. I have some cute Sadie stuff at the end for you. And the more you can watch of my videos without fast forwarding or jumping ahead or cutting off in the middle, the more you can help my channel. Also, please make sure you're still subscribed because sometimes YouTube unsubscribes people. So come on, hop in shotgun okay. and let's get started. Here, here's your pop in. Here, you want, here, give me, give me a treat. Oh boy, she doesn't like it. Oh, it's okay, swallow. Swallow, get a drink. Here, I'm gonna give you some, yeah, that's it, yawn. Good girl. Is it better? Is it all better? Just another wild goose chase. I drove miles out two or three different forest roads trying to find a place to camp and not finding anything. In this case, I found private property and I don't like camping even if it is public land, if there's private property too close by. I just don't like being near people's houses. They probably don't like it so much. So uh, last night I ended up staying just down the road from Telluride, not too far. There was a place along the road, I didn't even take any video, <laughs> uh, where I saw some people camped on the way up. So I pulled in and I just parked on the side of the road. And uh, so that's where I am. I'm getting ready to head out and I'm just going to do more exploring again today. I'm in no hurry to get anywhere. So um, this is my morning routine. washing up a little bit making some oatmeal my little uh, one or two cup real quick sponge bath and I'm gonna be ready to hit the road here pretty soon the road today? <laughs> Wanna go?
Trout Lake Trestle. Oh my gosh, look, oh my gosh. Okay. Starting in 1891, Trout Lake, which we're about to see in a minute, was used as a refueling station for steam-powered railroad trains in need of water along the Rio Grande Southern Railroad. Historic structure, historic structure, but it doesn't say what. But the trestle was added to Colorado's Register of Historic properties in 1997. I saw it in the distance and I thought I was going to have to drive over that. I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to drive over that. Views. So Trout Lake is part of the, I'm going to slaughter this, Uncompagra National Forest. That's where I stayed last night. And it's about a 15-minute drive from Ophir, Colorado, and about 30 minutes from Telluride on State Highway 145. Trout Lake was originally explored by American fur trappers and pioneers. They used the lake as a stopping point for their expeditions, but the population really grew after the construction of the Rio Grande Southern Railroad and the nearby Ames Hydroelectric Generating Plan in the 1890s. They say it's unknown if Spanish, Mexican, or Native Americans reached Trout Lake previously. The first record of it was taken by an American fur trapping expedition in the spring of 1831. I find that kind of weird. There must be Americans here. roads. I shouldn't go up this road as I'm going up the road. And I'm like, I should really turn around. I could probably turn around there. No, I want to see. Oh my gosh, this road. <laughs> I don't like this road. I don't like this road at all. There are so many forest roads between Telluride and Cortez. I just couldn't resist exploring them. And what I don't like about this is that the dirt is loose and it's a little wet. I'm sliding a little bit and you can see I got a cliff on one side. If it was all packed, it wouldn't be so bad. I don't know why it's loose, but I'm not. No, be, no bueno. <laughs> no, no bueno. No me gusta. There's a thin line between brave and crazy. <laughs> and I think sometimes I uh, hop, I, I skip over the line. What? Hopscotch over the line? No, I straddle the line. I straddle the line. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Don't worry, I'm just holding the camera while I drive. I'm not looking at the camera, I'm looking at the road. Look at this. And I'm just looking for a place for the night. I'm almost out of water and I'm just kind of lollygagging um and i would continue out this road maybe <laughs> i don't know i really don't like this road i don't like the mud 
and there's a thing, it rains here like every day. There is no way in hell I want to go down this road in the rain. Or even after rain. And since I only have like a day of water left, no way. second gear, low gear. And it's not wet. If it was wet, and that, that was my concern. My concern, yeah, and it, it, even if it was wet, I'm sure I could do it, but it would be scary. And I am so glad I have my all-terrain tires. I'm so glad I have my all-terrain tires really helps and stuff like this a lot. The Sadie's not worried a bit, huh? She's like, you got this, Mom. I've seen you drive worse. You got this, Mom. She's like, I'll, I'll make sure we don't get attacked by any killer chipmunks. <laughs> huh? Roaring Canyon, uh, something or other, National Forest Access, na uh, Roaring, ro Roaring Canyon, or Roaring Fork, ro Roaring Fork. So I expected it to be low. <laughs> yeah. See, I could have turned around there. I mean, I've done worse than that. But look, you turn, you make one mistake, and look at—I mean, that's a cliff. It's not even a—it's not even a, a slope. I get my tire off that, and I'm done. So yeah, I was like, no, I'm not turning around there. No freaking way. Literally. Oh, that would have been so scary. Yeah. And I have turned around in some really, really tight spots. You know, where I'm literally going an inch at a time. I'm just not feeling it today. <laughs> not feeling like teetering on the edge of death. No, no, no. of being slippery when it's wet it's not bad now especially with my all terrains but it's not come it's not um compacted down and look it I don't want to slide you know what I'm saying <laughs> I don't want to slide Here's another 
tip for you. When you've got it in low gear and you stop, it's an extra shift to get to park. So make sure it's in park before you get out. <laughs> I've done that, thankfully, like not on a hill. You know what I'm saying? You gotta go click, 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 click to get it into park on second gear and uh, in drive it just goes like click, click. You know what I mean? This. Okay, I've taken a picture. <gasps> Beautiful. Just about a few miles down the highway, down 145, I saw another forest road. I can't pass up a chance to explore forest road when I'm energetic and it's early and I don't have a whole lot going on. So I drove, I don't know, way, way far up this one, five, six, seven, eight miles. Uh, it wasn't as scary as the other one. And so I'm heading back down. I couldn't find any place. There was really only one place to camp and it didn't give me enough sun. So. I'm getting tired, I'm ready to stop. Look at, this is beautiful, so pretty out here. All right, well, I ended up on this road. There is a really big pullout that shows uh, had a fire ring. Other people camped here. It's just on the side of this mountainous road, but this is where I'm going to spend the night. <laughs> Sadie sees a chipmunk, or hears it. It's teasing her. This is a clean kitchen. Unfortunately, it doesn't last. Cozy. Girl, are you cozy? You can't even see your face. It's too dark. <laughs> You're cozy. All right, super easy dinner tonight. So I bought some Beyond sausage, you know, like in the tube, like Jimmy Dean. And they were on sale, like buy one, get two free or buy two, get one free. I never had them. So they're a little greasy, but I fried up a whole tube of it, threw in super easy because I've been traveling a lot. Uh, just threw in a package of tofu to give it extra protein. I threw in some peas because I didn't have a lot of groceries and I just wanted something super easy. So I just reheated that with a, a wrap and some cherry tomatoes and some scallions and some avocado and arugula. And that is my dinner tonight. So.
wrap it up like a burrito. What do you think? What do you think? You haven't eaten. You still have food in your dish. You have food in your dish. I love one of the nice things about living alone is, you know, you don't have to cook a whole lot to have dinner for like four days. I have literally been, I think this is the, I think this is the fourth day. Uh, and I finally finished up the, the, oh, and I threw a little rice in there too. That's right. I threw a little rice in it the other night because I had some rice in the freezer and I wanted to add some uh, fiber to it, some, some grains. So yeah, there's rice in there too. But yeah, living alone, man, you cook one package of something up and you've got dinner for four nights. So yeah, nice. All right. I'm going to just sit here and uh, enjoy the rain and relax for the night and get back on the road tomorrow. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Next time I'm going to show you Pagosa Springs and we'll hang out in Pagosa Springs together. So I'll see you next time. Do me a favor, check your subscriptions. Make sure you're still subscribed to my channel because YouTube unsubscribes people and click the bell to make sure you get notified. Thanks for hanging out with me today as we explore forests for boondocking and I'll see you next time. In the meantime, be happy, be free, and be kind. See you soon. Say goodbye. Want to say goodbye? You want to say goodbye? Want to say goodbye? Oh, you can get in my lap. <laughs> what are you doing? What's out there? What are you doing? You give me kisses? <laughs> you give me, come on, you get in my lap. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. What are you doing? You're squishing my head. You're kind of squishing my head. Jeez. I love you so much. Oh my goodness. You give me kisses? What are you doing? We want to say goodbye, friendlies. Oh, you're such a good girl. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? What? Is there a bear? <laughs> There's no bear. She's a hell of a watchdog, man. Oh, rah, rah.